In this On King video, I'm going to show you about one of my favorite add-ons, the Special Fields add-on, and how updating work decks will work. Uh, it'll help you better understand how you can use this for your own purposes, as well as with the On King overhaul deck that I've been using for medical school students. So here's how it works. If you have a deck that you're importing, and then you have your current deck, and they're essentially the same thing, uh, first what Anki's going to do is it's going to check the node ID. Uh, as long as the note ID matches, it'll move on and it'll check the note type. And the note type needs to match as well. As long as that matches, it can move on. Now, if the note ID doesn't match, uh, then it's just going to say that it imported the cards because they're essentially a separate deck. Anki sees it as separate, even if they're the same cards. Uh, sometimes this happens if people duplicate their cards. It will add a different note ID, and so then you can't update anymore. Uh, if the note type is different, it will say that it skipped the cards because the note type was different. So for example, say we have the close onking med type as one of my note types that I've made and your current deck also has close onking med But you've changed some of the field names around what it's going to do is say hey the names are the same uh, But the fields aren't so what it's going to do is import it and it's going to add a bunch of numbers and letters That's just random that I added on there, but that's what it's going to look like uh, So just so you know how it's importing that Okay, I want to show you kind of just an example of what I was showing. So here's the imported one. So I've just got a deck that I'm going to use in all these examples. The original, it's just two cards. And as you can see, I, I wrote original and then whatever the field name is here. Uh, and I have two note types, the Onking Med one and Onking Sketchy one. So just an example so that I can show you they all have original. And what I'm going to do now is import a deck that is identical to that. However, I duplicated it. And so Anki is just going to see it differently. And see, just says added, even though they are exactly the same cards. Um, so if we go in here to the browser on this new thing and scroll to the bottom, it'll actually say show duplicates because it's noticing, hey, wait a second, these are all the same. Um, so what I'm going to do is hit info. And you can see the note ID here um, is 1086. But if we check on this other card, the note ID is 4377. So it's a different card. And if I right click here and show you the date, oh, I've already shown date created, you can see they were created on a separate day. So somebody used the duplicate cards add-on. You can see here, create duplicate. Don't do that unless you have an actual reason for doing it. Um, but that's what had happened. So that's what imported is. Now I'm going to show you what happens if we skip. So here's a card and I've got uh, same thing on King Med and on King Sketchy. And I've been practicing. So this is what's gonna happen is we'll get a note type here. Uh, and when I import, I've got a new card type. And so if I look at this really quick. Uh, I've named this field lecture notes, but I changed it on this one so that it says personal notes. So I've changed it, but the name is the same on the Onking Med card type. So when I click on this and import, it's going to update one. It's going to update the sketchy one. Well, actually, it's identical because I've already done it, but it skipped the other one because the note type has changed. Uh, so how would you fix this? Well, you would come in here to the Onking Med type. Now this one that imported is this note type. This one is not the one that you want. So I'm going to change notes to the new note type. But by doing that, you just made your card newer. And it's no longer the same name as this one. So you have to fix both of those problems. So we'll go add, click on the name here and manage. And I'm going to click here and delete it. And then the one that is the one that I want to keep I'm going to rename it so that it's identical to the one that I'm trying to import. Now, the problem is I can't just click and import this or it won't do anything because this deck is older. And I'm going to explain that in the PowerPoint in just a second. But if we go here, this is the deck right here. So what I need to do is make this card newer. So what I can do is add a tag. I'll just call it tag. I don't actually want that tag, so I can remove it afterwards, if you may want to do. So I've basically just edited this card, so now it's newer. Now the other thing you can do to edit it is actually type on here, new stuff, or I can change the note type. So I'm actually going to do all three. But what I recommend is changing the note type to the exact same note type and make sure everything lines up as it should. Uh, but notice this one says personal notes and not lecture notes. That's how I made this note type different, even though it has the same name. So what I'm going to do now is export this deck Oops, not what I wanted to do. Export this deck to the exact same location here on my desktop because it's essentially the same deck. I just updated it a little bit. So there we go. Now we're gonna go back to my other profile and we're gonna import it here and it should update. 
and it skipped one because uh, we already had that one in our in there but this one updated as we wanted it to so if we go look at the Anki Med there you can see that it has new card type tag because it was updated it also has this new stuff that we had typed in so that's how it updated okay now let's assume that uh, everything does match up what it's going to do next is check which one is newer uh, so what I mean by that, here's the typical fields for a closed note, the text and the extra section, the front of the back basically. Uh, now let's say that this one is newer, the deck that is imported. What's going to happen is you're going to import and your current deck is going to basically update and match exactly what the deck being imported is. So it will say that the cards were updated. Alright, now let's go back. Let's say that the current deck is actually newer. And by newer, what I mean is that it's been edited more recently. You could edit the text, you can edit the tag, you can change the note type, whatever. So let's say your current deck, you've just edited everything or you just changed the note type. What's going to happen is that when you import, it's going to say, nope. And it's going to say the cards were identical. It didn't update anything. So nothing is actually going to change. Okay, now back to the same deck here, same original deck, although I'm going to import a new deck. Uh, so everywhere I put original text, original extra, it is going to change and say new text, new extra, new lecture, and it will also update the tag to new tag. So as if you were importing a deck that your friend had updated. So we will import that. As you can see, notes updated as the file had a newer version. So updated to all of these things. And if we go into the year, I'll show you. Um, now you can see the original tag is still here. But so what you need to do is notes, clear and use tag, it will disappear. So there are only things with a new tag and they all say new, 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 because it was a, a, a more updated deck. Now what happens if you do the process backwards? We'll do identical. So now I have imported this deck and I'm going to import the original deck on top of this. So this deck was made after the original deck. So if we import it, it's going to say, eh, we skipped it because they're already there. They're identical. But if we go in and look, you can see everything still says new, 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 new. It does. It didn't update to original like this other deck was because it was older. Uh, now I want to kind of show you what's going on here with the special fields add-on and how that interferes with this process. So let's say that the deck being imported is newer and we've got the special fields add-on and we set it to protect the extra section. Uh, when you import, what's going to happen is it's not going to import the extra section, but it will change the text section. So you can update just areas that you want while preserving your own personal edits. Uh, now there's also the uh, special fields can uh, do things with the tags here. So same thing, deck being imported is newer. We've got the special fields add-on. We're protecting the extra section and the text this time, so the whole card is protected and we're going to import that but we're going to set combine tags to false what's going to happen is you're still going to overwrite the tags completely even though you protected all of the fields uh, now the opposite let's say we got the same thing here but we set combine tags to true what's going to happen is you'll import both tags so and you'll have both in your in your current deck so this can be useful for importing tags from other people and what i do typically in this situation when i'm combining tags is i will delete every tag out of the deck being imported that i don't want so that only the tags that i do want will import uh, so now i'm actually going to show you how this works on anki so you get a better view Okay, now to the bread and butter of this uh, video here. Uh, same deck here that I've been using all along. It's the original deck uh, with all of the text here. Now note that I, I type original plus the field names here. Uh, now with the special fields, it's uh, very important that you recognize what f the field names are exactly like this because you're going to need that for the add-on. Now note in this one, I'm using two different note types. Note that these are different here compared with the sketchy card type. Uh, if, depending on what you're doing, you need to make sure that you know all of these names exactly. Uh, I'm In my future medical school decks, I'm only going to use one note type to simplify this process. But if you're doing different things like language study or MCAT, you'll want to make a note of that. So I'm going to go to the tools and the add-ons and go down to special fields. I've already set this up, but you probably will need to set this up. So you go here and open that file. Now there's only two spots where you'll actually edit it, special field and combine tagging. Now here's the fields that I've chosen to protect, the text, extra, and lecture notes. And it's very important that you put the U and the parentheses around it just like that so it's formatted correctly. And then I've set combine tagging to false. I want it to update. And this is what you would do if you're updating your deck, and I'll show you in a second what you, when you would use that as true. 
So I'm protecting those three fields, and I've already restarted Anki, but if you just edited that, you would need to restart Anki for those changes to take effect. So I'm going to import this new deck here, which will update it, it says, as it updated. But if we go into the browser, it will be different than what we'd done previously. And you can see the text, extra, and lecture notes fields here stayed the original but all these other ones updated as well as the tag is now the new tag and it erased that original tag which is there you can see it's gone so after you do these updates it's also wise to, to go to the notes thing here and clear and use tags because then it will clean things up a bit and now i'm going to show you another cool feature you can do with the special fields add-on to import just the tags uh, a great example of this is let's say that you and your friends have a pre-made deck and you are unsuspending some of them and you want to send to your friends which one you unsuspended Let's say I found these two and I added the tag unsuspended so that I can send that to my friends. But the problem is there's all these other tags and I probably have all my own personal edits in here that I don't want to send them. So what you need to do is delete these first so I can select everything. If you don't have the better tags add-on, you can use this button here, the remove tags. Note this is the fast bar add-on. You can also go up into here uh, and there's an option for somewhere to remove the tags. There they are. And so you can actually select them like new tag and you just type them out, tag one and stuff like that. And that's probably the easiest way without the better tags add-on. Now, if you have the better tags add-on, you can just right click on one and click delete tag. I highly recommend getting it. Glutanimate's work is great. You need to be a Patreon of his to get the add-on and it is totally worth it for this reason. If you have a lot of tags, you can click on one, not the top one, the second one, shift click down to the other ones that you wanna delete and then drag and drop them under the top tier. And now they are all under a tier, which makes makes it really easy to right click the top one and delete that tag. Very easy. So now we have these cards that we want to update with only one tag. So I'm going to export this deck and without scheduling information, that is very important. And I'm going to put it into my import tags thing here that I've already prepared. Uh, you may actually have to make a new file. And now we have a very important step. We need to go to tools, add-ons to special fields. And we're going to edit it this time a little bit differently than how we've done it last time because we just want to import the tags. So I'm going to click this and open it in a code editor so that you can see what is going on here. Now I had those three fields. This is not actually default into the add-on. I've just prepared this to simplify the video, but you would actually need to go through all of the fields exactly as they are named that you want to protect. And in this case, I'm protecting all fields. I don't want to import anything from those cards except for the tag. So I'm protecting all fields involved in those two things and I'm going to set combine tagging to true this time because I want to keep the tags that I have but I also want to import that tag from that deck that we just had. So that is now as I want it so I'm going to save this and as I said earlier you need to restart Anki when you edit things so I'm going to restart this and then when we import this import tags what it should do is update the deck with nothing but that unsuspended tag so it's up our profile here now just to show you we have the new tag and that's the one that we want to keep that's our tags but we're going to import the unsuspended tag so if I click on that you can see notes updated as the file had newer view version and we'll go to the browser and you can see I now have the unsuspended tag but nothing changed I had the news on the bottom three and the originals as I did before when we did that first update so that's how you can use that to share cards with each other to share tags with each other uh, and and many other things it's an absolutely incredible add-on thanks for learning with the on king be sure to subscribe to our channel as well as follow us on instagram and facebook for daily tips and tricks at on king med also here's the email if you have any questions or suggestions for new videos